Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. We are on September 29th, 2019. And the snow is falling. Got about four to five inches already here in Calgary. Expecting 20 centimeters. So roughly 10 inches of snow. But I think we'll get about 20 centimeters, as they're expecting. All depends. We'll probably see the most of the snowfall tonight, and as well the wind, as the low-pressure system is trying to move through the mountains and finally let's go. It will be producing some wicked cold backside winds. Here's a look at the current situation. I well, hope you guys enjoyed that quick little intro. But yeah, here is the situation. Looking at the large low-pressure system in Oregon right now, and it's just fueling all of this moisture from the Pacific into the cold temperatures coming down from the north. And it's stalling because it's not going over the mountains. A very deep lower level trough with this storm. And you can see it's starting to break off into other low pressure systems. But once it lets go, as I said, of the mountains, you can see this is where it is spinning right now, heading into Oregon trying to move naturally wants to go east but it is being pushed south and east and breaking off and you can see the bursts of moisture that's from the bursts of new low pressure systems breaking off from this large low very strong winds associated with this and all across the United States you're going to see extreme weather there were a few tornado warnings in Sacramento, California last night Throw parts of Illinois. Watch because we have an early polar vortex, large low pressure system over the Hudson Bay, fueling down all those cold temperatures. And then we've got a very warm United States. So there's the line. Cold temps hitting those warm, humid, temperatures so all along this convergence line you're going to see extreme weather widespread thunderstorms pop-up supercells tornado warnings so stay aware and prepare my friends and family this is a pretty significant storm and is probably breaking records throughout Alberta and Montana Uh, Iowa there was snow falling straight down to the Sierra Nevadas last night so don't be surprised Colorado you could see some snow in the next couple days those temperatures are starting to really come down it's a very interesting situation stay aware and prepared all along the west United States and as well Central looking through parts of Saskatchewan and Manitoba as well so you can see already there is a small Alberta clipper forming on the border of Alberta trying to head east quick satellite imagery here show the wind and the snow So, southern Alberta towards Brooks, my friend, big shout out to j Dog. he's got some family there. They're receiving quite a bit of snow in these areas. Lethbridge, Crow's Nest Pass, they saw almost three feet of snow already. Swift Current, Saskatchewan as well. Watch for mixed precipitation on the borderline as well with this storm. You can see over the next 24 hours, the brunt of it is supposed to be hitting Calgary tonight and then heading off for Tuesday. So during the day tomorrow, morning commute, please be safe, fellow Calgarians and friends and family from around the world. Be safe driving in these conditions. Take heed to the snow.
Looking here, satellite imagery from Windy. Let's see that low pressure cell still trying to come in from the west and then the new one develop off the foothills. Very intense snow. Stay aware and prepared. This is a big storm and very early of, in the season. Stay tuned to Morning Dew.